Jim Carrey, without a doubt one of the most well-known and successful comedy actors ever. In the early 90s, he was everywhere. You couldn't escape his movies. I was obsessed with them as a kid, and I'm still down for whatever he's got going, whether he's hanging out with penguins or hedgehogs. Carrie Mania, especially around 1994 and 95, was huge, and the actor went on to star in all sorts of films, including more dramatic work. But which of his movies truly stand out? Well, to try and answer that, here is my top 10 best Jim Carrey movies. Number 10, Me, Myself and Irene. This Ferrelli Brothers movie sees Jim Carrey play friendly cop Charlie, who develops dual personalities after his marriage completely falls apart. He then falls in love with potential criminal Irene, played by Rene Zellweger, whom he's meant to escort to another state. Unfortunately, the unpredictable Hank personality keeps popping out unexpectedly, making this endeavor kind of a struggle. This scenario brings with it lots of opportunities for Jim Carrey to show off his rubber-faced antics, and he certainly delivers in that department. Those transformation scenes are something else. The humor is very vulgar and gross out, which is not a big shock coming from the Ferrellis, but the film is admittedly very funny. It can be a bit much at times, but it is a genuinely good time with tons of memorable jokes and goofy sequences. Number 9, Liar Liar. Jim Carrey plays a lawyer who, due to his neglected son's birthday wish, is cursed with always telling the truth no matter how hard he tries not to. It's a clever concept and its application to all sorts of situations, whether it's in court, in the bedroom, or elevators, delivers laughs aplenty. Carrey once again gives a memorable physical performance as his douchebag lawyer desperately tries to fight himself, sometimes quite literally, whenever he wants to lie. There are some cheesy aspects to this movie, the kid is pretty annoying and the score is way too hands-on, but Jim Carrey saves it by having one hell of a good time throughout. Funny, funny stuff. A goose. <laughs> Number 8, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. On paper, this movie sounds like the worst idea ever, but director Tom Shadiak certainly made it work. Jim Carrey plays Ace Ventura, an eccentric pet detective who is hired to recover a stolen dolphin. With Ace Ventura, Jim Carrey created a truly odd and hilarious character, the perfect character to showcase his talents, obnoxious, over the top, completely shameless, annoyingly clever and loud, Ace is definitely one of a kind. The film was a big hit and it put Jim Carrey on the map and it's easy to see why. Jim Carrey is on top form here and makes what in the wrong hands could have come off as an odious dislikable character completely likable. Parts of it haven't dated particularly well granted, but most of it remains classic. Take care now, bye bye then. Number 7. Batman Forever. While not respected as much as the Tim Burton or Christopher Nolan films, Batman Forever was Joel Schumacher's best attempt at reinventing the Batman franchise his way. The film sees the Dark Knight, now played by Val Kilmer, take on Two-Face, played by Tommy Lee Jones, and the Riddler, played by Jim Carrey, who once again goes all out in a performance well worthy of Frank Gorshin. It's an often silly film, but one that looks really cool and is, let's be honest here, ridiculously fun. Jim Carrey is a riot as Edward Nygma slash Riddler and he steals every single scene that he's in, which is both a good thing but also kind of distracts a lot from the other characters. The green skin tight question marked outfits alone are a delight. Whether you like the movie or not, it's hard to deny that Jim Carrey's Riddler was quite something. Joy Number 6, Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. Steve Odekirk, master of the Thumb movies, directs this Ace Ventura sequel where our favorite pet detective has his own cliffhanger moment with a raccoon and then goes into exile before being hired to go to Africa and attempt to recover a sacred white bat named Shikaka. This sequel should never have worked as well as it did, but it managed to be effortlessly funnier than the first film and just better in every way. Every scene is unforgettably silly, from the Monopoly guy to the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang rendition, the poison darts, the leg spears, and of course the infamous Rhino sequence. Quite simply, hilarious. Number 5, The Mask. Jim Carrey's career-making rubber face was put to perfect use here in this comic book adaptation of The Mask, where average Joe loser Stanley Ipkiss finds a mysterious mask that he soon discovers gives him superhuman cartoon powers when he puts it on and thus gives him the confidence to pursue Cameron Diaz's pretty dancer and the ability to, well, ruin his own life. Perhaps for the better. Many films have tried to channel a Tex Avery style cartoon energy mixed in with live action, but few have succeeded as well as The Mask. The special effects were mind blowing at the time and they still hold up well. Jim Carrey is tons of fun and the film is slick, mad and very funny. While not quite as brutal as the original comics, The Mask remains a hugely entertaining comedy for kids and adults alike with some truly unmatched moments. Number 4, 
The Cable Guy. Directed by Ben Stiller, The Cable Guy got a bad rap upon its release, but people forget it was, in fact, successful at the box office. Chris Farley sadly couldn't star in the film as originally planned, but Jim Carrey took on the role and made it his. The film follows Steven, a lowly schmuck played by Matthew Broderick, who reluctantly starts a friendship with his strange cable guy Chip Douglas. He soon realizes that this guy is way too invested in the friendship and decides to end it, but Chip does not take this news well, to say the least. Jim Carrey's Chip Douglas is one hell of a weirdo. Parts hilarious and parts genuinely creepy, but also quite sad, he is an underrated creation. The Cable Guy is not really the gross-out, cartoonish kind of thing audiences were used to from Carrie at that time, but that's what makes it so refreshing. This is a darker comedy and a clever one with a very funny script and the most intense game of porno password you'll ever experience. Penis. Number 3. Dumb and Dumber Jim Carrey teams up with unlikely goofball Jeff Daniels, who is shockingly fantastic in this film, as they play Lloyd and Harry, two idiots from Rhode Island who decide on a whim to go on a road trip all the way to Aspen to return a briefcase to a lady they barely know. Dumb and Dumber is one of those very, very rare comedies where every dumb line, every visual gag, every joke just hits the mark. The script is jam-packed with hilarity in every single scene, and the film itself is a surprisingly charming, constantly funny roller coaster. To write. Both Daniels and Carrie have never been funnier than they are here, and Dumb and Dumber, as a result, is a joy to revisit time and time again. Without a doubt, one of the best comedy movies of all time. Oh, big golfs, huh? All right. Well, see you later. Number two, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Jim Carrey teamed up with director Michel Gondry to deliver this unique science fiction romantic comedy written by Charlie Kaufman, which sees a man decide to literally erase all of the memories from a past relationship from his mind once and for all before he starts to regret the endeavor halfway through the procedure. It's a more serious role for Carrey, who shows off his acting chops here playing a miserable, depressed character who finds himself hopping from one heartbreaking memory to the next. Kate Winslet is the perfect co-lead here, and the supporting cast is very entertaining, but it's the clever visuals and disjointed structure that steals the show here. Just an excellent movie on every level. It's funny, it's very sad, it's extremely creative, even the soundtrack is fantastic. Even if you don't particularly like Jim Carrey, this is a must-see movie. Okay. And finally number one, The Truman Show. Speaking of sci-fi, here's Jim Carrey's first attempt at taking on a somewhat more sensible role as he plays Truman, a man who discovers that his entire reality is nothing but a TV show he was enrolled in without knowing from the moment he was born. It's a tragic story that captures the cruel nature of reality TV perfectly, but it's not without its dark humor and the supporting cast, which includes Ed Harris and Laura Linney, really sells the world that Truman is desperately trying to understand and eventually escape. Don't expect laughs every minute for this one. Just expect a gorgeous looking clever film with a fair amount of depth and heart, with Jim Carrey giving frankly an Oscar worthy performance, kicking ass both with the funnier moments and the sadder scenes as well. It's a masterpiece with Carrey at his best. Good afternoon, good evening and good night. And so that concludes my top 10. And just so you know, Man on the Moon and Once Bitten almost made it, so consider those honorable mentions. Do you agree with this list? What are your favorite Jim Carrey movies? What's your number one? Let me know in the comments. And please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribing to the channel if you had fun. Until the next top 10 list, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.